to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with a Black Friday sale guide. What you should and shouldn't buy in order to go and expand your combat arms arsenal. Now the first thing I'd like to say is about Cyber Monday. If you can, hold out to Cyber Monday because you get some amazing, amazing deals. NX Res, even more heavily discounted guns on that one single day. So if you can, make sure to go and wait for that. Now, going down onto the other items that are already released at the moment, the Mist Infinity. Don't buy it, it's a piece of shit ripoff. Activated. Oh, the suspense. Oh, the suspense. Alright, let's see what I get. I used. I not. I. I. Um. Um. Are you serious? Are you. Um. The Mega Mist Crate is pretty good. It was the clicker case, if you guys remember from, the, from a while back. It's quite good if you have good luck, and that's how all gambling is. If you have good luck, you're going to get good stuff, but if you have bad luck, just don't buy it. GP Extremes, don't need them. The Super Weapon Renewal Kits, make sure you stock up on those, because they are definitely, definitely, definitely worth it if you have a gun that you really, really, really like. A permanent M67 Frag Pack, not so really that good. The NX Scopes and stuff, nobody really cares about. The Spec Licenses are really nice if you use a spec a lot, but who uses spec these days when you can get 25% speed and own everybody that has a spec? The passes. The passes are very good. The 100% bonus EXP and GP passes. I've personally got heaps in my inventory, but if I didn't, I would definitely stock up on those because they're quite cheap and you get 100 of the 100%, so that's quite good. In terms of the weapons, all of them are 40% off. All 40% off permanent NX weapons. In terms of the assault rifles, the Autumn G36E Valkyrie is one of the most overpowered guns in the game as an NX standard weapon. Definitely go and pick that up. The MK14 Mod O is still good in my opinion, but the Autumn G36E Valkyrie goes and absolutely just takes it out of the ballpark. The CQB, even though it has been nerfed, is still a decent weapon. The rest of the guns on there are pretty shit in my opinion. Now in terms of submachine guns, look at the P90TR. That gun has gone through, you know, a bit of change, but it's still a fantastic weapon. The CZ Scorpion EVO 3A1 is also a really good gun. Extremely high time to kill, great magazine size. It's just going to burn through your bullets, but you're going to definitely kill the people. In terms of sniper rifles, I suggest either getting the WA-2000, the TRG-41, or the TPG-1 Pro. The WA-2000 is a fantastic sniper rifle and excels in nearly every single range, and it doesn't unscope. Now, if you do want the unscoping type of thing, and you want a super, super, super loud noise, the TRG-41 is a great choice to go with. Now, the TPG-1 Pro is alright, but it suffers from quite a bit of damage drop-off, so I will go and stay away from that. In terms of machine guns, it's average machine guns. I really wouldn't worry about them. They don't really have a purpose in the game. Same with shotguns. The only one that's actually decent is a Remington 1187P. That's a very good shotgun. The rest is kind of shitty in my opinion. In terms of launchers, the Autumn Lore is back and that is a very, very, very good rocket launcher. So if you need some explosives, definitely go and pick that one up. In terms of pistols, it's fairly obvious. The G18 Cobra is one of the best pistols in the game, and the K5SD is shit. The Beretta 93R is shit. So, you know, buy the G18 Cobra. It's $6. It's an amazing weapon. Now, looking at the popular NX items, the only one I would suggest you guys to buy, if you need it, is the player name color change. That's quite nice. I like having a bit of color on my name. The player name change, if you have something you want to change, obviously. Clan name change and the clan emblem if you're starting or, you know, just want to go and change up your clan. The rest is just really average and it's not really worth it. In terms of the huge GP sales, Permanent Declan is post-nerf Declan, and such his speed is being reduced and basically useless. A light vest is better than him. 30% off Permanent Baron, who cares about Baron because Baron's bad. Heavy vest, who cares about heavy, heavy vest? If you want to go full tank, you buy Hawser, but in the middle, it just doesn't work. You tank some shots and sometimes you won't and the speed will just infuriate you. So don't buy any of these two guys. A light vest or a recon vest is better. 
However, the permanent AK-47 is definitely a good buy. 70,000 GP, not one of the best guns in the game, but accurate on the first shot, got good damage, and it's just a very well-rounded weapon. It also makes you more skillful because using a gun like an AK makes you better suited when you move over to like super OP weapons. You'll just dominate. If you can dominate with an AK, you dominate with lots of guns in the game. Don't buy the ACR, it's crap. Now, looking at the other sales, the Mish G is a really bullshit case in my opinion. The Grey Heights at Keys, good for passes. They're good for passes, so if you want to get some 100% GP and EXP, go for that. Now, the last three are very interesting. 30% off base character change. So if you want to go to the guy that looks constipated, I'll put him on the screen. He looks awesome. And if you want to go to the female equivalent, then there you go. You've got your base character change. And you've also got your gender change. In my opinion, guys, stick with male. I don't know why, but I like male. And the guy looks really cool. The guy with a massive buzz cut and looks like he's just going to go and act, act, really just stab you in the face. He's one of his serial killer guys. He's pretty cool. Now, the clan record reset, don't get them because nobody likes reset and clan record because it just makes you look like a pussy. And that is my guide, TLDR, wait up for Cyber Monday sales because they're going to be absolutely amazing. And the only thing I would really look out for is the Autumn G3060 Valkyrie, that gun is jizz. Um, the P90TR is awesome, the WA2000 and the G18 Cobra, everything else you can just kind of let to the side. But those guns, definitely go and pick them up because in my opinion, they are very, very, very good. Barbara Nats, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.